hey if this video gets a thousand likes i will do a hundred dollar giveaway do you want to increase your win percent by 30 percent do you want to be like me and go on 50 60 win streaks and no squad and in the wreck with randoms then this is the perfect video for you, man. I'm gonna give you all the best jump shots, the best pull-ups. I'm going to teach you how to shoot. I'm gonna be giving you over like 50 tips. So you are going to wanna watch this full video and really understand, man. Every time I play with randoms, which is like 95% of the community, man, like the casual base, it's very huge. People don't know how to shoot. I play with randoms a lot. A lot of y'all don't know how to shoot. And I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you can't have that much fun if you can't shoot. You will increase your ability of having fun playing 2K if you take the time and learn to shoot. Y'all have to stop being so lazy and really sit down and learn to shoot. It is very easy. This is one of the easiest years to shoot in 2K, man. I know y'all are not having fun <laughs> Just grabbing the ball and holding square because you're too scared to shoot, man. I play with a ton of grown folks, man. I'm a, I'm a, they, they call me an old head on the internet myself, man. And I pass y'all the ball. I'm being triple teamed. And you won't shoot. You'll pass it back or you'll just drive. And it's, it's kind of sad, bro. Like, gen genuinely, bro. Because that reflects in your real life. Like, if you're scared to shoot in a game... How you acting in real life, bro? It's crazy, bro. But I'm here to give y'all that confidence, man. So anywho, here's a new jump shot. Nice, easy green window. I'm gonna let y'all know the best jumper, so pay attention. But before we get into the second best jump shot, I want to show y'all this. This is the most important thing for all of you. I don't care what anyone says. If y'all think this setting doesn't matter, go test it out yourself, bro. Okay, put it on something else than what you usually have it on and watch you miss every single shot. I don't care what they say about visual cue, blah, blah, blah. Put this on very late and also do not use visual cues. Go off a feeling, okay? And you will become way more successful. A lot of y'all over focus on the animations which could come at random at any time. If you learn the feeling and in general cue, like you look at your player overall instead of one thing, you will become way more successful. I've been doing this since the first 2K and I'm the best shooter I've like ever seen. I don't go off like visual cue like, oh, his foot kicks. That's when you know, go off a feeling and master that feeling. Trust me, it's very easy to hit. Like you'll, you'll sense like a window in your head, man. We give you the best shooting badges too. So, you know, make sure y'all keep watching. Big man builds, little man builds, all that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all my favorite jump shot that I use on both gens. By the way, this, this video applies to both gens, these jump shots and everything, I play both. I think this is the best jump shot, okay? Even when you get on a bigger man build, I just think this is overall just the easiest jump shot to hit with. Just overall, it's faster than the Steph Curry base. It's, it's just, <laughs> for big builds, bro, it's just so easy to hit with, bro. I'm giving y'all the holy trinity right now, man. A lot of people think this is the best jump shot in the game. Um, I would still take O'Shea over this, but a lot of people say this is the best, okay? So, you know, you could test it out for, for bigger builds. Um, you know, 6'5 plus, you know, you run in the guard piece or even spot ups. They say this is him, okay? So, the main jump shots I'm recommending is the holy trinity, man. O'Shea, Kyle Kuzma, Mellow Ball. And this is the Holy Trinity, man. These are the top three jump shots in the game. Now, a lot of cats also think this is the best jump shot, like just recognized by everyone. So like, get with it, man. But that very late setting is the difference and your badges, everything, that is the difference. Now, before I show you some more jump shots, I wanna show you the best fades. This is the best fade in the game to me, bro. Overall, it's just the easiest to time on current gen and next. It's just the easy, especially on current. It is just so easy to time, especially on your dominant hand. If y'all didn't know, it's easier to hit fades on your dominant hand than your off ball hand. Um, the difference between comp players is 
The comp players can hit fades on their off ball hands. Usually only people can hit off uh, fades on their strong side. And, you know, it's easier to hit fades without R2 than with R2. But you get better, quicker animations with R2. So, yeah, I would say Booker is the best big uh, fade. And then Trey Young is the best for small builds, right? But if you want to just, just use Booker just because you're used to it for small builds, you can. You know, and you can get busy with it, man. Now, another jump shot I want to put back out there again. Um, for some reason, I've been discovered this when the game first came out, but you know, I finally dropped a vid on it like a couple weeks ago. Then out of nowhere, a bunch of YouTubers just started putting it out and like acting like they discovered it. So weird. Can I get a uh, credit, bro? <laughs> Basically, this is the most uncontestable jump shot because. You fade backward. I don't know what's y'all are weird. <laughs> I go hold you. This is a nice jump shot for spot ups, even main ball handler builds. Um, say you run like dead eye, or you know like from like front contest. Like say you're a jump back guy or whatever, or walk back guy. Like you could really get busy with this jump shot because it's hard for them to contest you. Even the spot ups, man. Like you can only get a front challenge, and you're fading back, so you could really. You could really get real busy with this jump shot. Like you could be a real glitchy player. This is a season six jump shot. It is very good and easy to use. Very butter, man. Definitely recommend this. You know, if stuff not working for you, try other things, bro. You don't have to be like everyone else. Now, if you have a lower three point, like a 75, you could use this jump shot right here with the O'Shea. I recommend if you can get the O'Shea on your big builds, it's like 610 plus. <laughs> bro, use O'Shea, bro. I'm telling you, man. Like, it, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. That very late setting, bro, it's going to change your world. I'm telling you. Also, let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below. Hey, man, if you got a little build, man, test this jump shot right here. It's butter, man. It, it could be the best little build jump shot. It might not be as, you know, as fast as certain other ones. But just consistency overall, this could be him. And if you got lower than a 93, then make your jump shot like this right here, man. You feel me? Let me know. Test these jump shots out. And here goes another new jump shot, man. Very easy to hit with. Test it out. Make sure y'all subscribe and turn on notice if you are new. If you want more tips on how to become a immaculate now this jump shot right here is very easy to get very easy to get at 83 ball very high release very easy to hit got easy visual cue now if you got a big build if you can get this jump shot okay the base is what i'm talking about mostly use the base okay these are some releases you could do a blend in you could do here's another big build jump shot very easy to hit with great visual cues guys come on now here are some big man jump shots, bro. Um, let me just show you the screenshot. This one right here, you know, 610 plus. If you have somewhat a high three, you'll be Gucci with this KD for sure. You know, the, the, this jump shots uh, I'm, I'm hearing is very good too. The David Robinson base. I'm hearing this base good too. And this Eric base is good too. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite big man base. Let me know your favorite jump shots down below. Help people out, etc. Hey, if y'all feel like laughing, man, go watch my Pro-Am video that uh, I dropped before this. If you don't laugh, I owe you a dollar. Struggling and you can do without it, don't do it. But you notice a jump shot, like <laughs> you just notice more shots falling when you, when you buy this. You know, 2K is pay to win, bro. That, that's just how it is. I'm not telling y'all to do it. And also, if you get the Gatorades, bro, you know, they will help you because Gatorade is very important. The more stamina you have, the less your jump shot change, all this and all that, the easier it is to time and have a more consistent jump shot instead of it going to straight RNG and you uh, guessing what jump shot is about to happen and what animation you're going to get and trying to guess this other person's animation to you it's ridiculous, right? But hey, man, also get gym rat, okay? Um, if you can't get gym rat, do your drills and make sure you get three star on everything so you get a bar to your um 
your stamina that will help you greatly and then if you like buy two or one it'll it'll help you it'll help you get the double bar but again pay to win if you could do it out it you could do it out it man I, i'm just letting you know how it worked my boy now look if you feel you can't hit bro you can turn all of this off right that you know there there's a lag delay and um hold on how do i put this whole on none you know instead of one of these things because they say it adds more lag delay to your to your guy you know it's a theory it's not tested but if you're struggling to shoot you could test this out bro you can um like just do none you know you can test this out it's up to you i don't do it but you could do none you can uh you know, I use this jump shot meter. By the way, do not use jump shot meter. Only play with no meter, bro. Don't use meter, okay? Ball trail, you could put this to none. If you feel like there's just too much lag delay, test it out. See if it works for you. And also, another thing. Here's another thing people do. The shot feedback. They turn it off. I don't do this. But it just more lag delay like taking off the game you know that's why people do stuff like this they do something like this they turn it on none you know but then you can't see people's names but it's up to you bro make sure your motion blur is off okay turn it off get your sound effects right man if it's too loud too low get it right i use very late my shot type and I have it on shots only. Um, I don't really mess with the layup thing. I make sure I have my vibration on. I like that. But it's up to y'all. Make sure you turn off your trigger effect. Too many of y'all have your trigger effect on, you old heads. I hear it through your mic, okay? I hear your, your, your controller rumbling while you're not even touching anybody. Like, bro, it's a... It's a Huh? Huh? Oh man, you got the controller. Man. Turn this off, bro. You gotta turn it off in your PlayStation settings too. So many people don't know this. You got your trigger effect on. It's gonna mess up your shooting, bro. Spread the message. You know, these are my other settings overall. Um I keep this on and I keep my who to guard on. By the way, I see people keep taking off who to guard. Stop. It does not do anything. Okay, you take it off, it's not gonna pull you less. Keep it on just so you're aware because everyone of the best shooting badges in general, bro. Okay, I don't have my shooting max on this build, but I'm gonna just show y'all something. Agent Threes is the best badge for main ball handlers, okay? The best badge, okay, bar none. It's not just fading, it's not just pull-ups, bro. It's stopping a uh, pop. It's everything. Every shot you take while like moving rhythm shooter, it's all combined into this badge. So if you are a main ball handler, put this max bar none, bro. Okay. Um, even catch and shoot when you're a main ball handler, you want this, bro, because you can shoot it instantly. And like even with the fade shot. Your catch and shoot's gonna pop up and the agent threes, and then you could catch them hoes even more. Everyone is leaving everyone open, bro. Okay? Like all levels, bro. Like, especially when they think you're like drained of adrenaline and all that. Catch and shoot, it, it changes your game completely, bro. Especially if you are bad, bro. Uh amped, you know. Eh, you know, they, they say it reduces the penalty. It, it's it's cool, bro. Um, and then Claymore, when you spot, when, when you're spotting up, you catch the ball and you wait and then you shoot. This is more for spot ups, but still, this is still a good thing for a main ball handler. You see, I got it low and then the volume shooter, I'm going to eventually max out because, you know, it helps with every shot, but limitless range, you don't even need, bro, because of the limitless takeover. I'm going to show you, bro. Look. I can keep shooting from half court with this badge, with the uh, with the damn near seven seven. What, what was my three point? 
like a 76-3, bro. I can shoot from half court just with this badge on single, like the single takeover. And you can shoot from everywhere. So you can save badge points without um, even having Limitless on. You know, it's still a good badge. It works. It's, it's a great badge. But if you have like Accelerator and just Limitless, you can just hit from Limitless. So you can save badge points and be smart. I got a bunch of clips, bro, of uh, me hitting from Limitless. The Dead Eye. Uh, you know, it, it ain't it ain't that it ain't it ain't what it used to be. Blinder, same thing. Corner, they say don't work. Some people say it do work. Green machine, they say it activate after the third shot until I hear otherwise. So it's not really as needed. Guard up. Some people say don't even work. Um, space creator, all dependent to your style and mini. But yeah, your main badges that you want is a main ball handler, agent threes, amped, catch and shoot. And then you start to, you know, the volume. Sh Actually, bro, volume shooters not even like that, man. I'll put blinders even on bronze or dead eye on bronze over a uh, volume shooter, bro. I noticed no different. Clutch shooter is kind of worthless too. So, uh, and the yeah. Board. And then everything else is all dependent on you. Now for a spot up, bro. You want catch and shoot max, claymore max. I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not too. I don't. I don't. I don't know about guard up, bro. For a spot up, you could do something like this, bro. Really, for a spot up, it's really like the same badges, bro. It, it really is, cause they say uh, corner specialists don't work. It's really like the same badges, bro. To be honest, now maybe uh, I don't know about this dead eye and blinders, bro. I don't know, bro. I, I haven't been made a believer. A lot of people make a lot of tweets and stuff, but I, I I just haven't seen it. You can shoot crabs. People think it's blinders. You can shoot crabs without blinders and it be OP. Like I don't think people are noticing a big difference from making it gold to uh, you know. I don't know, bro. Basically, between spot ups and um main ball handlers is you're just going to want to have claymore and catch and shoot more that's basically it bro, to, to keep it a hundred and of course these are going to be your main catch and shoot in the claymore but you want to be able to fade and sometimes the game makes you fade so you want to have this badge on still this will be your third badge as a spot up that you will need and, and click on one of these two videos but hey hey here we go again Again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.